So boom, I know you're ready for the video and shit, but before the video starts, we gotta package your film. We gotta package the unboxing shit. So if you want your shoes for the low and shit like that, bruh, and they still hard and shit, and they ain't expensive for real, for real, go shop with them, you feel me? Then my discount code and all that shit in the description with the link, you feel me? So go shop, let open up the box. If you watch me, bruh, you know it'd be hard as fuck for me to open these boxes, so I'm gonna speed it up so I can still show y'all the shoes, though, you feel me? All right, so boom, we got it like this. Now we gotta, you feel me, do the do the, the, the other part. Let's get to it. My nigga, opening them boxes be crazy every time, you feel me? But I'm finna show y'all boys the shoes real quick and shit. Y'all boys go shop with them and shit. Y'all at least, that shit tough, you feel me? Got the joints and shit, man. No cap. Y'all boys go shop with them. You feel me, bro? Y'all see the shit. Y'all go shop with them and shit. That shit tough. Simple as that. I'm ready to get to the video, so let's get straight to the video. Come on. Is you living or you bought? I don't even know what to call. I just wanted it. I bought that shit. Don't ask shout if she'll tell you about it. Send the bike, keep your deposit. Cause I ain't even thinking about that bitch. So bro, I'm about to tell you the reason you can't get no girls. You feel like you can't get no girls. You can't feel like you can't get no bread. You feel like you can't lock in with your grind. I got you, bro. I got you. It's that simple. I ain't finna waste no time, bro. And, it, and it's one quick, it's a couple solutions, but I'm about to tell you how to make your points, bro. Number one, it's because you think you can't, bro. Listen, bro, if your mind fucked up, everything else fucked up. And that's just real shit. If you think, I'm going to tell you how to fix it, too. If you think before you even walk up to this girl, she's going to reject me. If you think before you even hit the gym, oh, I'm not going to be able to lift that shit. If you think before you even try to come up with a new way to get some money, oh, that shit ain't going to work. If you always had that mindset, bro, you're going to never achieve anything. If you always had that mindset, that, 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 that mindset of this ain't going to work, this ain't for me, that ain't for me, it will never work, my nigga. The way to get what you want and the way to get where you trying to get, bro, is see it in your head, nigga. Everything was seen, my nigga. You see that motherfucking light switch right there, my nigga? Somebody thought of that shit and made it a reality. You see this water bottle right here. Water didn't just fucking come in this fucking this cup, my nigga. Whatever this shit called, this plastic bottle. A nigga thought of it and made it real. When you have a thought, bro, you got one or two options. Either make it happen or, 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 or let the thought die, my nigga. And a lot of times, niggas' negative thoughts end up coming in their head, being like, oh, yeah, that shit ain't gonna work. The self-doubt, the fear, the little anxiety, even dealing with girls, let's go for everything. Niggas' self-doubt will come in their head, bro, and it, it'll kill their goals, bro. It'll kill their visions, bro. Stop letting your mind kill your visions, bro. The same way, you know how you gonna tell somebody what you gonna do and tell them a new idea you had, and then they shit on your goal or shit on what you trying to accomplish, and now you questioning yourself? You can do the same thing to yourself. The same way other people can be in your way, you can be in your own way, my nigga. You gotta step out your own way sometimes, bro. You gotta trust yourself sometimes. Trust the vision that God gave you. God will give you great ideas each and every day. And, and, and great opportunities each and every day, but then you won't do them. And then when you won't do them, you still ask God why it ain't happening. Nigga, it, 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 it's opportunity after opportunity. You seen that fine ass girl walk by you, bro. Why you ain't gonna talk to her, bro? Why you ain't gonna talk to her? Oh, I can't pull her. Oh, I'm not handsome enough. Oh, this, oh, that. You're not because you think you not, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. You handsome to somebody and you ugly to somebody. That's simple as that, bro. So, it's all perception. It's all percep perception, my nigga. So somebody think you ugly, somebody think you cute. So what are you gonna think of yourself, my nigga? What are you gonna think of yourself, my nigga? And another thing, people view you how you view yourself. If you walk around calling yourself ugly, walk around calling yourself dusty, dingy, uh, a lo loser, these things, bro. That's the things other people gonna see too. People see what you see in yourself. That's why some people be like, girls be like, oh, he's so cocky, he's so confident, do do. But in reality, they love that shit. Drink some water. Hold on. My lips getting dry and shit. But in reality, they love that shit, bro. They love a confident guy. They love niggas that got going, got some shit going. Because that that's the that's how they want it. That's how they want they nigga. They want a nigga that view himself highly. So if you're not viewing yourself highly, then how the fuck is anybody else gonna view you highly, bro? And that's the thing with a lot of y'all niggas, bro. Y'all niggas try to get on holes but not be on y'all purpose. And that's that's why y'all still don't get on holes. Cause it's like this. You can't try to view yourself highly in one area. And, and like, oh, I get girls, this, that. You try to view yourself highly in that area, but in another area, you don't even think that you have what it takes to get some bread. Or you don't even think you have what it takes to, to hit the gym and get bigger. How the hell you finna have what it takes to get girls, but you don't have what it takes in other areas? You feel me, my nigga? So that's the thing. 
but stop trying to fix external situations and fix yourself on the inside and everything else going to fix yourself on the outside. Stop trying to get more girls. Stop trying to get more money and just become a nigga that naturally get these things on the inside. And naturally, you're going to get the girls, you're going to get the bread, you're going to get the opportunities. Everything going to come your way naturally because you're the guy that deserves it. You feel me, bro? Stop trying to sneak and, and, and beat the program or try to finesse the game and try to think of what to say when you're talking to girls and become smooth or or or, or, or fake ass workout and try to hope muscles come. Stop that shit. Actually be the nigga each and every day that deserve these things, bro. You just don't want it. That's what this shit boiled down to, bro. This self-improvement shit, self-improvement, becoming the guy you want to be, all these things, bro. This shit is a constant journey, bro. This shit don't never stop, bro. It's either you feeding your mind good shit at all times or you feeding your mind bad shit at all times. And that's real shit. Your mind don't get disappeared. Your mind's still there even if you're not taking care of it. And if you're not taking care of it, that means you're treating it bad. That's like, nigga, if I'm not drinking water and I'm drinking bad shit for myself, it's not just that my body ain't gonna do good. My body gonna go downward. You feel me? So it's the same thing with your mind. If you're not taking care of your mind, a lot of times in school, nigga, we not taught to take care of our mind, bro. They be teaching us school word one plus two, little shit like that. But they don't teach us the importance of our mental health. Cause if your mental health straight, your life can be straight. You feel me, my nigga? But that's some shit they not gonna tell you, gang. That's why all my best advice to niggas is not to go get no new clothes, to go for some more bit. My advice to you is to get right in here, bro. And all of that shit you want gonna come. Life gonna, God gonna give you everything you want when you deserve that shit, bro. But if you don't deserve that shit, bro, you're not gonna get it. Stop playing, having a victim mindset, blaming other people for why you can't get no hoes, why girls don't like you, why ain't no bread in your pocket, why you can't work out. Stop, bro. Stop, bro. That ain't no man, bro. A man become a man when he stop blaming his circumstances on other people. You're not a man until you stop blaming other people for what the fuck you got going on. It ain't nobody else's fault you don't got no hoes. It ain't nobody else's fault you ain't got no bread. It ain't nobody else's fault why you don't got no muscles to yourself or whatever the case is. Make this in your situation. It's nobody else's fault but yours. And the moment you take accountability is the moment you can change it. If you putting the control in somebody else's hands or blaming somebody else or playing victim to control out of your hands, you can't change it because you don't even think that you can control it. But the moment you understand that you put yourself in this situation and your thoughts put you in this situation, it's the moment you can get yourself up out of this situation. You feel me, my nigga? I'm really cooking right now. I'm cooking right now, man. If you ain't recognize what I said, go back 30 seconds and re-listen to this shit, nigga. You feel me? Be a real nigga and send it bit to somebody who need it. But like I'm saying, bro, you got to change the nigga you is on the inside, bro. Change the nigga you is on the inside, bro. Change your thoughts and change your perception on certain shit. Stop making girls a big deal. Stop making getting money hard. Stop making hitting the gym a difficult task. Stop saying, oh, it hurt too bad when I hit the gym. Nigga, say it hurt good. You feel me? Say the pain feel good. Change your perception on shit. Change your perspective on shit, nigga. Like, literally, bro, once you change your perspective on certain shit, like girls and shit like that, bro, you gonna go from having to over extend yourself to now you just lay back and you do your own thing and now they coming to you bro the moment i was trying to get the most girls i was focused on girls this that i i really wasn't pulling hoes you feel me yeah they'll text back a little bit but in reality i was chasing the bitches you feel me but the moment i literally put me first i stopped trying to hurry up and text back i stopped trying to uh always link with a girl i stopped trying to do this and do that now it's when the girl's trying to link with me now the girl's trying to see what I'm got, see what I'm on, cause I ain't too focused on what they got going on. So now they like, damn, what he been on, what what Chris been doing? I'm trying to see Chris. You feel me, bro? Cause sometimes less is more. Sometimes less is more. You can't put into everybody else and not put into yourself, bro. Cause if you put in everybody else and you put into yourself, you're not gonna want to be. You're not a person that nobody, that nobody really gonna value for real, bro. Cause they'll take your account for a weakness. And not only that, you spend so much time putting into others where you could be better, but you ain't even better for real. Cause you putting your time to others, like girls, like playing the video games, like eating junk food, like watching bullshit that's not good for you, listening to depressing music. You not on your shit, bro. You just not on your shit, bro. Yo, bro, being on your shit. It's not just going to work or not just working on your craft and hitting the gym for two hours. I don't give a fuck how much muscles you got, how much money you got, how many holes you got. That don't make you on your grind. You being on your grind is each and everything you do each and every day. Being on your grind is not just one or two things. Being on your grind not just money, not just women, not just muscles, not just nothing. Being on your grind is bettering yourself in each and every way you can, bro. Getting better at how you handle situations. Learning new shit. Learning ways to handle yourself. 
learning new views, learning new ways to, to build and, and better your life, bro. That's what you got to be on, bro. And once you on that shit, I know sometimes some niggas may be like, man, that shit boring, this, that. But if you if you look at that shit like it's boring, bro, you already got the wrong mindset, bro. You too, you lost in a sauce game. You lost in a sauce, bro. But the moment where you motivate yourself and the moment you discipline yourself to focus on other shit, bro, is the moment where you get every other thing you was chasing and you no longer have to chase it and it comes to you. The moment you lock in with yourself, you ain't gonna have to chase no girls, nigga. You gonna have to chase no money. You ain't gonna have to chase no muscles, cause your mindset right. When your mindset right, you gonna hit the gym regardless. You gonna you gonna talk to that girl cause she look good, cause that's your standard. You don't even talk to me, girls. You only talk to bad shit. You only talk to fine shit. So when fine shit walk by, you like, damn, I'm gonna talk to fine shit real quick, cause I deserve that. You feel me, my nigga? And if she don't want me, then fuck her. You feel me? That's her fucking up. No, just mean that's opportunity. So the thing you gotta realize, bro, is, 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 is stop bullshitting and just lock in with yourself. Stop trying to use outside shit to better yourself. Stop trying to use expensive clothes. Stop trying to use this and that. Trying to get this for girls, get that for girls. Do this for them, do that for them. And just really be the person that deserves that shit, bro. Because when you, you can lose the clothes, you can lose the cars, you can lose the money, you can lose the hoes, you can lose the muscles. But when you write on the inside, you can get all that shit back, nigga. When you write on the inside and you the man you need to be, all that shit gonna come right back to you. But if you got lucky or got that shit by chance, bro, guess what? That shit ain't gonna come back. But when you are, when you really the person you need to be on the inside, bro, everything else gonna come back. And that's real shit. So, man, that's just a little bit of game I have for y'all niggas. Y'all let me know what y'all opinion is on certain shit and on topics y'all talked about and shit. This is a real game. You feel me, bro? Now, I ain't dropped no IRL and shit like that in a minute, so I'm going to drop them hoes soon. But this is a real game. I be feeling like I be wanting to put y'all niggas on game also, not just show y'all other shit. But I be wanting to mix it up a little bit. You feel me? So, I'm going to mix it up a little bit and not only drop this type of content. I'm going to drop all type of shit. You feel me, bro? Y'all just going to see. I ain't even going to talk about it. But make sure you give me a like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on post notice. Follow me on Instagram again. Follow me already, man. I got a clothing brand. Y'all niggas ain't seen the clothing brand. Listen, my nigga. Hold on. Where the white one at? Hold up, my nigga. The white one are sold out. We sold out on the white ones, my nigga. We sold out. You understand me? But we do got the black one. So if you want a black one, my nigga, the clothing brand Instagram in the uh in the bio and shit. So go get right. Simple as that. But that's all I got for y'all today, man. Subscribe to me too. We on the road to 16K. We're gonna hit it real soon. We ain't gonna even talk about it, bro. We just gonna do it. TSL on top. I'm gonna catch y'all boys next time. Hey!